Good evening, my friends. It's good to be back. Another evening out here in Northern Rivers. Um, it's a pristine night outside. Very, very cold. The winter's come on, that's for sure. Um, I've had to relocate down to the stables as there's a frenzy of cooking going on up in next to the fire in the kitchen. So a little bit too much background noise. I'm down in the stables. Um, it's nice and peaceful down here. Not a sound. And um, let's get on with it. We're on to the next chapter. Lord of Water, the next chapter, Paul. Chapter is chapter 10. A formidable team. Max and Pay disappeared to their quarters after a full night at the helm. Somewhere between, Gary must have snuck in some sleep for he was fully awake and on the job. He gave control of High Sun over to Miller and jested that he would not be long. Miller looked calm and confident and High Sun did not flinch one bit. Leaning over port side, I caught the attention of a main dorsal pilot. He seemed to be holding the line with his team comfortably gliding in harmony with our driving keel. The slicer sharks kept wide on either side. Although given the appearance of constant danger, they demonstrated a definite fear and respect of our dorsal pilots braving only the outer limits of our driving wake. I wasn't able to see why our pilots would be such a threat other than than just holding their space with such boldness and confidence. He definitely was the one, as I consistently caught his attention and observed how he commanded his team. A being with such grace and power is such a magnificent presence to be a part of. I completely knew that he was connected with me and I with him. He could just duplicate my thoughts and I his, I asked him if I could have some small demonstration. He rolled onto his side to look directly into my eye. That was a yes. There is no language between us. We simply duplicate each other on pure concept. I asked my powerful friend if he could place four of his pilots on the outer side of himself and have them positioned in a half spearhead line. One, two, three and four beside him. One at a time, they slotted into formation like the one-sided wing of a piercing arrowhead. I couldn't believe it, and this occurred so instantly that it felt as though they themselves were now each one of them following my command. I looked back to my fine leader and thanked him with the greatest of confidence. He rolled, and the other four all turned and swirled around him, generating a driving, twisting spearhead with he himself the central projectile. I had now been fully acknowledged and had no doubt that I have the ability and the team behind me to reach the pinnacle of my destiny. Our Lord of Water had made an incredible step forward in allying the dorsal pilots and forming a formidable team. But with his destination being far beneath the surface, how would he himself be able to reach these incredible and treacherous depths? Lord of Water, a formidable team. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. I'm Michael King, author, and uh, have a great day tomorrow. Cheers.